Hey everybody, it is I, Mr. Skids, and welcome back to Undertale. I'm going to do a really quick jump cut because uh, everybody, some people were telling me I fucking missed a uh, defensive weapon. Uh, or a defen defensive weapon, a, def uh, a piece of armor I could be using right about now. And they told me that of all the places I could have checked, I completely missed it because it... Uh, Thanks for stepping on my face. Here's the three gold. You got three gold? Oh, so I paid him! Step on his face. What the fuck? Anyway, I'm gonna get there real quick. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I'll do this first. Okay, here we are. This, I cannot believe I missed this. Oh, hey, wait a minute. The crack in the... Wait a minute. Guys! I was just about to say I noticed a crack in the wall first before noticing that doorway, but the crack in the wall is now fucking missing! But anyway, the uh, thing is actually right here, and I can't believe I completely missed it, but there was a crack in the wall, and now there is no crack in the wall, and now I have an old tutu. Apparently that is a defensive item. Uh, item, info, old tutu, armor, defense, 10, finally a protective piece of armor. I've had a protective piece of armor, but this is not really a protective piece of armor. Uh, item, old tutu, use, now I'm wearing a tutu, so let's also give, oh, papyrus a call. Where'd you, <clears throat> yeah, where'd you go? I can't see you. Oh, wait, that's because you're in, on the phone. <laughs> Fucking come on! Perhaps, perhaps you're so cute. I don't see that crack in the wall. It's gone! It's gone! What happened to the crack in the wall? I haven't the faintest idea, so... Uh, I already did this, I already did this! Uh, so I got the armor, the, I got the missing armor, so let us... Do another jump cut! Zoom on to the forward! Zoom, 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 zoom! Oh, Aaron, why? Why are you in my way this again? Aaron flexes twice as hard. You flex! Flexing contest! Flex! 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 Aaron is ready for your next flex. Whoops, I, I done doofed. I gotta check all your... I fucking... Flex! Flex! You flex harder! Yes, I can conquest. I won't stop flexing, cause I'm the flex master. Alright. Flex even more. You flex. Aaron flexes very hard and he flexed himself out of existence. Bye. Thanks for stepping on my face. Here's the three gold. You are a very weird monster who gave me six gold for no reason. So, let us continue on with the game. And actually... Now that we have some, a little bit more defensive items, it shouldn't be quite so hard. Hi, Sans, are you going to try to make me look at this thing again? Because that's not going to happen. What's up here? Woo, it's up in here. Oh, it's the nice cream guy! It's a box store, it's stor storing punch cards. It's empty right now. An ancient glyph that has made, been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. What the fuck, dude? What the fuck? Dude. Dude. Dude, are you fucking stupid? He, I, I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Maybe you shouldn't be painting over fucking ancient writing. Fortunately, I thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a part punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them in for a free ice cream. They're sure to get customers to come back. A uh, frozen treat that warms your heart. It's just 25 gold. Um, you know I'm gonna buy one so I can get a punch card. And here you go, your card's in the box. You got a punch card. So I'm gonna grab that punch card, one card. Take the card, take it. You got a punch card. So I'm gonna put all that stuff in the box for now. Hopefully never, I probably will have to use it later. So let me put the Mandy Bantana in the box. Uh, and the punch card for now because I don't need that and I should put my nice cream away for now actually Question what is the description of the ice cream and Let us take a look. Oh fuck. 
Oh, fuckles, I pressed the Windows fucking key, which ended my, uh, uh, my, my, my video footage. I fucked up. I fucked it. I fucked it. I fucked it so hard. Ah. All right. Um, item. Nice cream info. Nice cream yields 15. Instead of a joke, the rapper says something nice. Aw. Aw. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, let's go in here and call Papyrus, as always. Ice cream? Thanks, but I live in Snowden. There's ice cream all over the ground. That's called snow. That's called snow. Thank you, Sans. How are you talking to him, by the way? You're right out the door. Sans, I didn't ask you for your opinion. Sans, how the fuck did he do that? He's right here. <laughs> What is going on? I don't even know anymore. Oh, what is this place? What's down here? Oh. Um, what's over here? A duck. Okay, moving on from the duck. Let us move on from the duck. <laughs> what's this? I hear a passing con you hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? You hear a passing conversation. Hmm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. Is there more? Is there more? Is there more? Is there more? Where am I going? I'm lost. I'm already lost. Monster! I'm being attacked by a washu act. Washu clean. Washu will clean you. Money! All right, those guys are easy. All I have to do is clean them, tell them I'm gonna clean something, and then that's it. That's the end of that conversation. Ring, ring. Hello? This is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about the clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very murdery. But I bet you know that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. A bandana, because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. This way you're safe and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. Click. Oh, Papyrus. Oh, you poor bastard. You poor son of a bitch. I feel so bad for you. Oh, more monsters. Oh, God, both of them. You won. I earned a lot of gold. Okay, moving on. I should go this way. What is here? What? It's a pair of ballet shoes. Will you take it? Yeah, I found the ballet shoes. Okay, uh... Sell stats, uh, did an item. Ballet shoes, invo. Ballet shoes, weapon attack, seven. These shoes, used shoes make you feel incredibly dangerous. But I'm not fighting, so it makes no sense that I would have these. I guess I could put them in the box with every fucking thing else, but um, other than that, I can't really see myself using these. But, you know what, I'll put them on just in case. Just in case I do have to fight, but I'm not going to unless I absolutely necessarily have to. Hello, Aaron again. Let us take care of business. And business has been taken care of, so let us continue on our journey. Let's see if we can find more echo flowers like you. You're a passing conversation. Don't say that. Come on. I promise I won't laugh. So let's, uh, there's more to the story. Is there more over here? The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. Um, yes. Well, Better be better be moving. Let's move on. Let's go quick. Oh god. Oh fuck. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. Why? Why does it have anime eyes? Hey there. Noticed you were here. Oh god. I'm Onion Son. Onion Son. You here? Oh god. Why? What are you doing? You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. I can't talk to him or anything. I can only walk. Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but... 
Hey, hey! That's okay! It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium, like all my friends did. And the aquarium's full. Anyway, so, even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though. You hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Actually, now I'm starting to feel bad for you. I really am starting to feel bad. Hey there, that's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time in Waterfall. La, 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 la. I want to come back and visit this guy. I want to come back and visit Onion San. I I actually kind of feel really bad for Onion San. I feel really bad. Whoa. Shiren hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. Check. Shiren. Attack 9, defense 0. Tone deaf. She's too ashamed to sing her deadly song. Toot. 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 Oh, okay. <laughs> um. Act Shiren. Uh. Hum. You hum a sad song. Shiren follows your melody. So I re say, re say, re say me. Whoa. No, 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 no. Um. Shiren seemed much more comfortable singing along. Yay, I did it! Ah, uh, I helped her. I made her feel good about herself. Yay! The northern room hides a great treasure. A great treasure, you say? It hides great treasure. A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Along the first eight are fine. There are, There is a piano. Play it. Yes. Um... I am not sure what I am doing here. Haunting sound echoes down the car. Once you play it, the first eight are fine. The northern room hides a great treasure. What? This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. And an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There is only one exception. The soul is a special species of monster. Uh, 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 the soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death, if only for a few moments. A human soul could absorb this soul, but this has never happened. Now it will never will. Why do you say that? It's a statue. The structure is at its feet seem dry. It looks so sad sitting there with just in the rain. What is going on in this? He's out. Please take one. Take an umbrella? Take one. Take an umbrella. I know what to do here. He's getting rained on. Put the umbrella on the statue. Yes. You place the umbrella atop the statue. Inside the statue, a music box begins to play. <gasps> circle up right circle up right circle down down right that song is beautiful Circle up right, circle down, down right. 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 Circle up right, circle up right, circle down. Circle up right, circle down, down. Oh, did I mess that up? Uh, circle down right, circle down. A oh, fuck! Fuck! Come on! No! What did I mess up? What did I, how did I mess that up? Oh, come on, brain! Come on! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! God damn it! Damn it! S okay, there. Circle up right, circle down, down right. Circle up right, circle down, down right. Circle up right, circle down, 
down, right. Circle up, right. Circle up, right. Circle up, right. Circle up, right. Circle down, down, right. There we go. That was the song. That's just, that was the song. I found the thing. It's a le the le it's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? Take it. You're uh, carrying too many dogs. What? It's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? Take it. Why? You're carrying too many dogs? What? What? How am I? What? What? Why? What? Carrying too many dogs. How? What? Wait, what? 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 Item. What? Annoying dog! Where the fuck did you come from? Annoying dog. Dog. A little white dog. It's fast asleep. Why do I have a dog? What? 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 It's gone! What? Oh fuck, I've been forgetting the call of papyrus. Ah! Oh god, I've been forgetting the call of papyrus. Yes, I'll take it. You're carrying too many dogs. Why do I have a dog in my inventory? You deployed the dog. The dog absorbed the artifact! Okay, I'm I'm just gonna jump cut. I'm just gonna jump cut to all the things that Papyrus is gonna say, and that's it. <laughs> hmm. There's something annoying about this room, huh? Are you serenad serenading? Huh? Are you serenading me? Oh no, you're making me blush. I've heard a shy monster lives around here. Well, if you want to get someone to open up, you should engage them in combat. Onion? Hey! Hi, Onion! Hum, hum, hum. Um, you gonna keep following every- Did you hear? You're back! I'll tell you a big secret. I'm starting a band, you hear? It's called the Red Hot Chibi- Chibi Peppers. <laughs> All I thought of is, is it the name, and I don't play instruments or sing. Well, do you think it will be popular? Yeah, you, you'll be popular. Yeah, me too. Aww. Aww. Onion-san. I really like Onion-san. I don't know why, but I like Onion-san. There's no response. Apparently, Papyrus is not answering the phone this time. Hi, Onion-san. How's it going? I do like you. You're silly. Oh, did you hear? I got nothing else to talk about. It's onion son. You're you're a goof. You're a goober. You're a fucking goober, mate. But I like you. I don't know why, but I do like you, onion son. You definitely deserve better than what you got. What's that music? Am I on hold? <laughs> That's beautiful. It's beautiful music. Please take one. Um I will take one. Take an umbrella. Take one. You take an umbrella. I took two, unfortunately, but... Hey, what's going on now here? Uh, am I avoiding... Oh, these are puddles. Oh, they're puddles. Okay, okay, okay. I understand. I understand. This episode's getting quite long. I can't find a save point. Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome! Let's go! Uh, come on, come along, monster kid, I guess. Aw, look at him. He's adorable. You little snot-nosed gooberhead. You're absolutely adorable, aren't you? Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night, knowing she was going to beat me up. Ha <laughs> ha. You're a goober. You're a goober. You're like every other kid. You're like a real kid. You're written just like a kid. Um, oh. So, one time, we had a school project where you had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking, yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. I wish I could get to that echo flower. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, maybe she shouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. <gasps> what? Is that the castle we gotta go to? Oh, hey. Vroom. So that's the castle, huh? This is really fucking cool. This is really cool. Just gonna stand here and look for a second. Oh my gosh, that's fucking awesome. That is great. That looks great. I love that. I'm gonna put this umbrella back. Return the umbrella. Put it back. Put it back. Be a good boy. Put it back. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Hmm. Yo, you want to see Undyne, right? Climb on my shoulders. Okay. All right. What about you, uh, you kid? You, yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I'm always, I'll always find a way to get through. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Let's hopefully find a gosh darn safe point. And as requested, the humans afraid of the power declared war on us. They attack suddenly and without mercy. Ser serene sound of the distant music box. It fills you with determination. I don't hear the music box. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken and countless monsters were turned to dust. So, I will save it here and have to go once again. But uh, you are fortunate because I will do part 13 soon. So, you guys. Oh, well, well I. Well, God damn it! I thank you guys for tuning in, and as always, I will see you all next time.